This video is from Loaded Design Lab, School of Design, Art, Architecture, Planning, Consulting and Research. This video is extremely useful for those who are learning outdoor shoot in V-Ray because I am going to link V-Ray Sun, V-Ray Dome and SDRI in just one go. This is a building. This is the front side of the building. And I move around. This is the all four different sides of this building. Now uh, we will use with a dome light. We will uh, change the multiplier and then after we will move down here we are going to use with the SDI which is in standard material we will go down this is with SDI now we will go to material we will take uh, this map SDI map drag and drop to the material now we will uh, browse desired sdri file this is the sdri file we will change into spherical and then we can change the multiplier depending on the kind of intensity of light is required now we'll go to the background we'll drag and drop this SDRI map to the environment background next step is to go to the view we put background we'll switch it on now it is time to use camera so we'll go to create camera VD and then VD camera or VD physical camera. So we are going to click and drag like this. It's done. Now we will uh, click target and camera together and we'll position as per the requirement. Almost uh, in the center or little above the center of the building and target we are going to move up we are going to move up because we want to see the sun sun of SDRI so we are going to align the video sun like this just parallel to the opposite and parallel to the camera now we will lift it up because sun has to be above the horizon completely aligned with the camera target has to be on the ground now we'll go to the camera view and once in the camera view in the realistic view we are going to look at the position of the sun so now we are going to rotate horizontal rotation yes this is the horizontal rotation required to bring sun in the view now we are going to align the sun as a source with the sun of the SDRI or the sun position of the SDRI now it is positioned aligned yes after moving it we can yes while moving it the background is also moving along the sunlight so the camera alignment with video sun is done just a little bit of modification is required now we are going to uh, separate out video sun and the dome 
we are going to align uh, both of them together like this this is how we will recognize that where is the center of the video sun we will align this video dome like this It is almost done so it shouldn't be that precise but it should be almost in the center now we are going to link both Sun and its target with the dome so we'll select Sun and the target now we are going to select and link it with the Vray Dome. Now it is done. If you rotate it, if you rotate Dome now, this Dome is rotating Sun also. So this was the purpose of linking Sun with the Vray Sun with the Vray Dome light. Now this is the process of linking all these three V-Ray Sun, V-Ray Dome and SDRI. Since V-Ray Sun is now linked with the V-Ray Dome, so whenever you move V-Ray Dome, now SDRI background is also going to move as per the rotation of the V-Ray Dome. This was the purpose. Now this is the camera which is going to shoot through which we are going to actually look at this building. The last camera was just to align sun dome. Actually the first camera was just to align with a sun with the SDRI background. Now we will go to select, we will select VA Sun Dome, we will go to rotate, along the Z axis we are going to rotate VA Dome, due to VA Dome rotation, now both VA Sun and VA SDRI both are rotating, because Dome has linked Sun with itself, and due to the linking of these two with SDRI, now both of them, V-Ray Sun and SDRI, both are rotating. Now we will uh, render to look at the building and the background. This is not what is the effective use of it. So we will be doing a little bit of changes. The background is dark so we are going to increase the intensity of the SDRI file. Once again I am going to render. So this is what again the effect. Again the background is dark. So we will be selecting VRA Dome, we will increase the intensity here. Now we will select VA Sun. Again, we are going to increase the intensity of VA sunlight. So the foreground light has increased, yet background light is dark. It is because this is the background is the opposite of the sun. That's why it seems to be darker but we will have to increase the intensity of the background to reach on a very effective rendering of this view. 
will increase it further as DRI intensity has been increased now this is the result background has started coming out now we also increase size multiplier to have the effective shadow the edge of the shadow is blurred with the sun size so sun size sun intensity both of them are very important now the render setup this is finally we process in video rendering so this is frame buffer enabled this is also enabled now we are going to choose adaptive yes these are the three different image sampler so we will be using very uh, generally used sampler environment map which is already there with a DRI from uh, yes we will have exponential the most important part played by the video V-Ray indirect illumination first we have irradiance map and then light cache this is how we set irradiance map and light cache we'll remove the log so that it doesn't come when we render it so finally we will hit render here this is what we are getting result out of it now we will uh, set final position of the camera before taking out the render of the scene after copying the last camera the very same camera because it is positioned on a particular height this is what we get result out of the copied camera now we will render why we use this camera because we wanted to hide the ground which was darker yet on the right side you can see dark area is coming so we will move accordingly the camera so that the dark portion of the ground goes out now we will finally fine tune the camera location so that we could correct the view now we'll take camera closer to the building this is how we can hide the background the ground portion of the background and this is how we get the final render yeah, this is effective it is capturing the essence of the whole setting of this building and this is the final outcome of this tutorial to encourage us please subscribe to our channel named Laurie Design Lab SOD School of Design thank you very much